So in this video, I'm going to show you how quickly and easily it is to create a dashboard in R using Flex dashboards and also how to publish it online so you can show off your results. So with that in mind, let's head over to my R Studio. So in this example, I'm going to be using charts that are created in previous videos. Links to those in the description below. I'm also going to provide all the code in the description below as well. So if you want to check those out, they're all down there. And because I'm going to be using charts that I've already created, this is where the quickness comes into it. And the reason why I'll be installing not only Flex Dashboard, but also Tidyverse and Read Excel. So first things first, what you need to do is open up your R Studio. And as I mentioned, let's install both Flex Dashboards and Read Excel and Tidyverse. So all we need to do is just highlight and run. So once that's all installed, what you need to do is go up to File. And once you're in File, go to New File and then go down to R Markdown. Click on that. And then down here, you'll see From Template. If you click on there and you've installed Flex Dashboards correctly, you'll be able to see Flex Dashboard just here. Give it a click and then do OK. Then you're brought to the screen where you have the basic layout of how your Flex Dashboard will look. So what you want to do first and foremost is just save your file. So if we go up to File and then do Save As, and then if we then call this Flex Dashboard Test, like so, and then do save, so one before, so we can just save over that one. And then go yes. And then now we've got that saved, what you can do, you can now do knit to show you what the layout will look like in HTML. So if we click on that, the layout pops up of how the chart will look. So in this instance, what we can see is untitled is showing up here, which is there. And then we've got our chart here, chart A, which is this one here. And then just below, we have chart B and chart C. So I'll show you if I scroll down. So we can see those are the different charts. And as these are based on columns, this determines the width. So the idea here is if we were to create using the exact template that we've got here, we could have those charts to show up in here, here and here based on the layout that's already created. So you can change the width and I will show you that, but there's so much customization you can do, but we're going to keep this one nice and simple just so you can get a feel for it. And then you can start delving in and getting really, really fancy with some of the stuff. At the moment, we have our layout and just to prove that this will work. And as we're using data from my previous videos, we're just going to call this. So let's give that to do with the charts I'm going to be using are going to be case related. So if we do cases, then for the first chart I'm going to create is using the line chart that I've created in the past. I'm just going to copy and paste the code into chart A and then rerun. So you then you can see the results. So if I just grab the code and then just paste it in like so. And then if I do knit again, we can then see in our lovely graph all set out into chart A. Now the next one, I'm going to be using the bar chart. So all I have to do is click back onto here, scroll down to chart B. And then if I go down and grab what I need, copy and paste, and then do knit again, we can now see the bar chart is in chart B. Now, if you only had the two charts, which is all I'm going to show here, because I just want to show you how quick and easy it is just to get something out there, is even though I'm using the same data set and using the set out here, I could still add those in to the chart, even if it was using a different data set, because basically you are running what is your R code in that particular chart. So if you wanted to, you could just upload any data that you've created in R, obviously Bearing in mind, if you're using anything that's sensitive data, this will be available to anybody. So don't publish that. But if it's any data that you just want to showcase that you've looked into or you want to send someone it who doesn't have R set up and instead of just sending them a screenshot and you make it interactive, you could technically just publish it, send them the link and then they can then use it. So the possibilities are endless here. 
And this is why I wanted to show how easy it is just to get that information out there as quickly as possible and in any format that you would like. So with that, I now just want to show those two particular charts. But because we have this issue with chart C being here and this being larger than this, what can I do? So we can go down and see where chart C is. All we do is just highlight it and then delete. And then if we run now, we can see that chart C is gone and now we have both charts next to each other, but they're different sizes. So let's make them the same size. So all we have to do is go back, scroll up to find where it says the chart. And as this one's called chart B, but it's the bar chart, we're gonna call this bar chart cases. And then we want to make this 500 because if we scroll up here, you'll see this says 650. So that means there's a thousand across the board. Split that in two, get 500. So if we just go back down, there we go. And then type in 500. And then if we go up, do that 500 and then call this line chart, capital C and cases. So we got those and we go there with that and our title. So now if we knit again, so now we made those changes. Now everything's the same size and we have the labels across the top there. Now what we can do is publish. Because I've published this one before, it's asking me to republish because it's using the same name. However, if you're doing this for the first time, it will just say publish. So all you do is go up to here, go publish, and then you want to select RPUBs. I was already using those before, but you do get two options, but you always use RPUBs because this one is so easy. So all you do is when you go in, you just click on RPUBs and then create, and then it will just publish your dashboard for you. And in this case, I'm gonna go create a new one. And once you publish that, you'll be taken to the site where you'll be asked to log in, create your own details, and then it gives you the option that you see here that will then allow you to then publish. So all you have to do is when you get to this point is just do continue. And then there is your Flex dashboard in the web for anybody to see. And just to prove that, I'm going to put the link in the description below so you can check it out. But it's that simple. I mean, it literally is extremely easy if you already have the data already set up. But you can do it from scratch and just create all those parts that you want to do. But if you ever have anything that you just want to get out there and show people what you're doing without having to just take screenshots or putting them in PowerPoint presentations to get the, what you want to put out there, you can just put it all in that format, publish, and then share it away. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give me a like because that helps the YouTube algorithm. And also don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this that can help you on the analytical journey. But if you want to continue that analytical journey, check out these videos over here. And as always, until next time.